me again. Um, one of the things I've learned or learned to appreciate are people's stories. I've been telling my story over and over and over again, and it's just so boring now. Um, but in telling my story, I'm also hearing other people's stories, and I'm also building a community of people who share what I'm going through right now, which is quite wonderful um, because it, it, it's supportive in a way that most people can't be supportive right now, except for those who truly understand it because they're living it. Um, but one thing that we're doing for On Display Global that I believe I've talked about before, but I just want to reiterate is that after this May experience with me in honor of Brain Tumor Awareness Month, um, I, I we are going to be, we're going to have a collection of stories on YouTube that people can access at any time. And then we will be sharing those stories on social media as well. Um, and so far, what I've heard is just so beautiful and vulnerable and interesting. And so um, I'm excited for On Display Global to now be not just about the beauty of stillness and how much you can see and read a person in their stillness because it's so challenging to do and there's no hiding. Um, the same with a very short story, like a one minute, what am I gonna talk about? What am I gonna talk about? What is significant to me? Uh, it, and it doesn't have to be anything. It doesn't have to be traumatic or dramatic or sad. It can be joyous. It can be a, a moment in time that was really special. Um, so this is the kickoff. I am the kickoff. And from now, from now until December 3rd, International Day of Persons with Disabilities, when we do the On Display Global installation, um, you will be hearing stories from other people, uh, from all walks of life, who are choosing whatever they're choosing. This is not curated at all. And I, I do hope you will tune in for those as well. Thanks so much.